Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your HP Brobook 650 G4 RAM or solid state drive. Also you're gonna see what's going on inside of this laptop. Uh, you're gonna see how motherboard looks like and how the battery looks like etc. And of course you're gonna see how you can open it up. First things first, you need a little screwdriver. It doesn't have to be the same one what I'm using, although they are absolutely brilliant, I have to say now. So just in case, I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you can go and find it yourself. Although I have to say now, this is not an advertisement whatsoever. You have to remove all the screws on the back panel. Uh, removing, I mean, just opening screw, screws don't come out actually, so you can just open them and you're ready to take off the back panel. That's actually how simple it is and back panel comes off relatively easy. One of the easiest ones so far. There we go, back panel is removed. And this is now the look of inside of the laptop now. It's good news, you can upgrade left, right and center actually. It's really, really good laptop this way now anyway. There is your M2 solid state drive slot. Upgradable, of course. There is your 2.5 inch hard drive slot. It's empty and also it's gonna stay empty, although you can actually fit your own hard drive in it if you have one or if you need one. There is your RAM slots, two of them DDR4 RAM slots. So, in total, I'm pretty sure you can upgrade actually to 32 gigs, maybe more even, not sure. 32 gigs definitely, that's your battery there. Okay, here's the closer look now. That's your battery again. Later on you're gonna see even closer look to the battery itself. That's your solid state drive currently in it. There's your 2.5 inch hard drive slot, empty, and it's gonna stay empty. There's your Wi-Fi card, Bluetooth Wi-Fi. There's your two RAM slots, DDR4 RAM. And I'm not gonna mention DVD drive, <laughs> kind of pointless at this stage now. Not sure actually how many people out there are actually using that. So before you start upgrading anything, remove the battery. Just safety, I suppose. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. There's closer look and again, if you are looking for a spare part now, there's your number as well. Okay, as you see, there's a one RAM in it already. That's eight gigs. I'm gonna leave this in it and I'm gonna actually install additional 8 gigs. So in total this laptop will have 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM. But as I said before, you can upgrade that to potentially 32 gig and God knows, maybe 64, I'm not sure now. But 32 definitely had these laptops before with 32 gigs in it already. So 100% upgradable to 32 gigs. Okay, DDR4 upgraded. Next stop now is our SSD. Use the same screwdriver just to remove the solid state drive. Open the screw and just pull the solid state drive out. Okay, that's the closer look again. That's the Toshiba one now, 256 gigabyte in it at the moment. They're actually good drives, nothing wrong with them. Uh, only reason I'm upgrading is just to, for more space and a little bit more speed, I suppose, as well. Okay, this is the solid state drive that's gonna go in it. It's Samsung 980, 500 gigabyte. They are really good drives now. Also, I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you can go and find your own. I do recommend them. They're not expensive either at the moment, so they're on sale. Okay, that's the closer look again. 500 keys, as you see.
Of course, you don't have to buy this one or upgrade to this solid state drive now. You can find your own, whatever is compatible with this laptop and go ahead. Maybe you need one terabyte card now, so maybe you need smaller one, faster one card. There's options are there. There's any amount of them available. So I'm just showing what I'm upgrading to. And that's 100%. It's going to be working 100%. That's your battery now. You can put the battery back since the upgrading part is finished. Okay, back panel will go back as well now, same way as it. You kind of have to press it in now, just it clips in. You can hear the clips actually, and then you can close the screws. And in a minute, I'm going to show you the benchmark actually as well of this laptop. And just the specs as well, like we go to my computer menu and we go to device manager and you're going to see that in a minute now. Okay, all good. Okay, we're in the... Now, actually I have a screen recording that, so it's on the screen now. Just gonna write... Okay, that's, that's your heart right now. Right click on it, go to properties, and you're gonna see there's 16 gigs in it. And it is the same laptop. Only reason I screen recorded so I could get better quality because just filming the screen wasn't good enough, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna go to Device Manager now. I'm just gonna go over space, basic specs now. There's your Samsung drive. Guaranteed working, no problems. Graphics and CPU, of course, that, that's quad-core i5, 8th generation. Okay, I'm gonna run the benchmark now and we're gonna see how good it is. Only one thing I have to say, uh, when I was running that benchmark, the screen recording was obviously on as well, so TDR4 RAM performance wasn't as good as without screen recording, so I'm gonna leave link in description when I was doing it without recording the screen, so it's, uh, it's actually more accurate that way. Okay. That's, that's it now, we run the benchmark and the results are here. Obviously it's not a gaming laptop now. <laughs> There's your CPU, it's good enough. Uh, as you see, GPU now as for gaming or I don't know, it's not good enough at all. Solid state drive is outstanding as you see, 213%, excellent. This is just basic benchmarking. Okay. And that's pretty much it now. Hopefully, if you're looking for some specs or some ideas how to upgrade, it was helpful for you. If it was, thumbs up, like the video of course, and subscribe as well if you have time. And have a good life. Bye bye.